Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to speak about the graphic in Revit. So before we will start, please the thumbs up this video and we will continue. Thank you. Let's start. And today I will show you the one more graphic style, how you can create your graphic. So I will leave this view as it is and I will create the new one. I will just duplicate it. Let's duplicate this video, even with detail, no matter. So here we are. As you remember, if I will change uh, here the graphic, it's not will change here. So let's write like this is uh, type 1, because you should see the difference. And here the type 2. Type 2. So awesome. Uh, so what we're gonna do now? We will go to the visibility graphic first. Let's go to the visibility gra graphics. This is a uh, double uh, VV. And we will go to the uh, visibility graphics. Or you can find it under the view. And here the visibility graphic. Okay, here we are. Let's change the some things. At, l at the last video I said about the visibility graphics. You remember I think about that. If not, please watch it before. I mean the, my previous video. And come back to this video. Uh, because there I showed to you like uh, some uh, pretty uh, useful things in here and uh, today I will show you the more things in this visibility graphics. Actually we will work only here. So okay, the first thing what I want to do, uh, sometimes uh, you need the model only white for example, right? So what you can do, if you don't know which the uh, which the category of these materials, you can do the simple thing. Just click here, uh, hold shift and click here. Override, and let's override, for example, solid color and the white. Let's say OK, let's say OK, and let's say again OK. And we get the white, all the white, uh, our model. So um, this is uh, actually the pretty nice uh, technique because uh, sometimes you need to show only the mess of your building, for example. And as I said, the type 1, it doesn't change. You can see that type 1, it's still as it is. And type 2, we have the other graphics. So let's again duplicate and we will create the more and more some for different things. Let's uh, rename and let's write like type 3. Don't worry, guys, you will able download this Revit project file later on. Just check below this video. They already have the link for this file. We will create new one. As you see, I don't have any. Let's create the new one. Um, doesn't matter under this one. Sorry, interior. OK, we have the some interior and let's edit. Now what, what we're gonna do, uh, let's check what the parameter we have. We have the here walls, I no need, I need only floors, I no need the stairs, I need only the floors. Let's find here, you can see only floors. And here we have the uh, some parameter, like uh, and rules, and this is like um, uh, visual programming, you know. So uh, let's find it and or, so I will use the and. Actually, I will delete this uh, everything and I will add my rules. Add the rule. So you remember we use the command. Let's find the command. Where is here the command? Here are the commands. Uh, we will use the equal and R, right? And so let's say okay. Here it's already working. And now we will change the our surface pattern. For example, to the solid and we use the R. So it means right, why not? And let's say okay. Now it's red. Now let's continue. Let's say uh, here, for example, this is my road. I will use the command like uh, blue. So this means B. Okay, I will go again back there. I will do this more faster than I did before. Edit and new. Let's create the new one. And let's call it blue. Like this. And let's find the uh, family category the floors again the new rule equal let's find this uh, oh sorry here not equal here the comments with our lovely comments equal and here the b let's say okay and let's add here parameter here the blue let's say okay and we will change it to the solid and to the blue let's use this one let's say okay and let's say okay 
really cool, right? Because uh, if I will change, for example, this grass, uh, I will give the parameter like red, and it will be changed too. So, for example, you can hide your pathway, you can uh, highlight your the grass, your uh, playgrounds, so whatever you want, and you're not changing to your graphic because if I will go to type one, it doesn't change anything. Type oh, I mean type two and type one is the same as before. So what what I mean when uh, I did uh, these three variants? If I will create some uh, drawing sheet, for example, I have here the one standard one. I will use same geometry but three different graphics. So you are asking me every time about uh, uh, how we can work more faster in Revit. Now you understand how do you can work. This is all the same graphic. I can change any, for example, here the road and it will change everywhere, but the graphic will save. So this is what about the filters. Actually, I will uh, give you some uh, small tips about the filters. And I think that's it for today. And as you can see, I don't have any filters. Why I don't have any filters? We did it. Because we now end our drawing sheets. Let's back to the our type tree. And I will show you the one more tip. For example, you have the, your road, right? And we using, for example, for that comment for that road, the comments B. But maybe in one day you want to use some more comments like B, maybe let's say blue right but you want uh sorry uh, but you want the highlight both of them with this color so how you can do it actually easy we will go to the filter to the blue filter edit and let's change the our rules i will change to the or and now i will add the one set more so it will be or and i will add the rule for example Actually, we can add here, even here. So let's add the set. Oh, sorry, set. Add the rule, comments, equal blue. But we also can uh, make the new set of that. So we can, let's say, or and continue like this. But let's leave it like that. Let's say OK. Let's say OK. And as you see, now both of them, the blue. But we have different parameter here and different parameter here. For example, maybe you are using the Dynamo and you don't want to change this parameter because you are, um, I don't know, parameterize your the road and uh, you don't want to touch this and you are using this command. So, and let's uh, show you the one more thing. And this thing, this is arrows. So the most thing in uh, when you're creating some uh, graphics, uh, you need to use the arrows. Uh, actually, you already have these arrows. When you will download this uh, project, you will already able to use these arrows. So no worries about uh, where you can download it. You can get with this project too. So as you can see, this is really cool. You can place it whatever you want. This is uh, place it uh, to the uh, face. So I already placed on the my uh, street. Let's make the offset like 1500 and you can see this is my um, one of the arrow. Actually, you can you will find like few of these arrows, the different uh, color. Anyway, you can change this uh, family. This is really pretty simple family. You can go inside and check this family. So uh, this is the last thing what I want to show you in this uh, part two in the part two I mean uh, and the next time I will show you more complex things we will use Dynamo for creating some nice graphics but for today I think this is pretty much enough so thank you guys for watching don't forget uh, thumbs up I really need it and if you have there some questions or you have some uh, desire you can leave below this video uh, under this video in the comments so thank you guys for watching and see you soon and that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.